Thanks for staying with us. I'm Cody Holyoke. And I'm Ann McCloy. How safe is the food your child is served in school? It's likely you've never even given it a second thought. Health inspectors have, and believe it or not, a number of schools right here in the Capital Region have been cited for critical violations when it comes to food safety standards. Our Jennifer Lukey, our investigative reporter, has been digging into those inspection records from the past year, and she joins us live tonight with the real deal. Well, Cody Ann, all school cafeterias are inspected at least twice a year. During those inspections, this year, close to 100 schools locally have been cited for issues like having insects or rodents present, inaccurate food thermometers, dirty walls and floors. But believe it or not, those violations are not considered critical. There are more severe issues, violations that uncorrected could cause serious health issues for our kids. When it comes to the food being consumed by kids in the lunch line, health inspectors take a hard stance. We look at the, how the foods are prepared and serve to the children to make sure that they're safe, that they're in temperature, and that nobody ends up sick because they're eating there. For the most part, the schools with critical violations have problems with dented and leaking canned food. You might wonder what the big issue with that is. The dented cans might be a source of botulism. Another struggle, keeping the food your children eat either hot or cold enough, and improperly labeling toxic chemicals like cleaning solutions, which create a risk for contamination. <laughs> Across the capital region, there are nearly two dozen schools that have been cited for these type of critical violations this year. And it crosses the spectrum. City schools, suburban schools, private and Catholic schools have all been cited. We're serving over 10,000 meals a day, making sure every single one of those meals is safe. So when these things happen, we look at how it happened, how to make sure it never happens again, and do everything we can to get it fixed. And typically, it's within minutes or hours. It's never kind of a long-standing thing. In most cases, any potentially impacted food is thrown out before it ever reaches a tray. If it's a problem with dented cans, they're sent back to the manufacturer. And if it's a maintenance issue, repair folks are called in right away. The schools are responsible. Responsive, and inspectors say they make sure of it. We love serving the kids, and we want nothing more than for them to be happy, enjoy their meal, and obviously for everything to be safe for everybody. Now, we reached out to the schools that have been cited. Most tell us the issues were rectified immediately, and in some cases, staff was retrained. By and large, school districts do pretty well. Restaurants, on the other hand, are a totally different ball game. You could spend days going through the critical violations at hundreds of local eateries. If you'd like to take a look at some of the data, go to our website, CBS6 News or CBS6Albany.com, and then click on the Real Deal section.